I'm not talking voters. I'm talking, not, not to, I'm talking militia. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. There's 350,000 in the Florida militia. So what's going to happen? No idea. No idea. What happened in 1776? What happened in 1861? Take somebody to light that match. They don't want this match lit. So you're saying it's going to happen if he's convicted? I hope not. I pray not. But I don't kneel for no man. I kneel for no country. I only kneel for my savior. I'll stand on my feet and die. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I voted for President uh, Donald J. Trump. And he was an incredible president. Uh, we had a great economy, peace. He got along with everyone. And he didn't jail people the way they're jailing people right now. So I believe now, if he's back to the White House, he's going to be even better president. Lock him up! Lock him up! You Come out, like man. Lock, him up. Lock him up, baby! He's going down. Lock your president up. He's going hey, down. Your president up. These are great shots for you. Look at that backdrop. Can you get it, get it? Are we blind? Are we blind? Honest Are we blind? This country come on. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We're talking about. I stay here to support Donald J. Trump. I stand with him and tomorrow too. Everywhere, anytime. Just a peace sign. He was smiling. He went like this. <laughs> In our city, um, A, we, we obviously believe in the Constitution and believe that people should have the right to express themselves, um, but we also believe in law and order. And we know that, uh, and we hope that tomorrow will be peaceful. We encourage people to be peaceful in, in them demonstrating uh, how, how they feel. And uh, we're gonna have the adequate forces uh, necessary to ensure that. Um, there may be, depending on the crowd size, some road closures, so people who live in the downtown area should uh, expect uh, additional traffic and should prepare for that. In many kinds of protests that are very, very large uh, will have the right action plan. I think it's safe to say we're working with partners, our law enforcement partners at all levels, uh, to make sure that we're communicating, to make sure that we're prepared, to, to make sure we're sharing information, um, and ultimately to ensure that tomorrow goes off uh, without any hitch. And so um, uh, we wanted to assure, ensure the public that we are ready. Is them to occupy space on the streets, then we'll make those decisions at, at the PCC or the... Since the moment uh, the announcement was made, we have been planning and preparing uh, to ensure that the city of Miami is safe and secure. I can assure all our residents, our, our stakeholders, and, and the visitors that are in the city at this time that we are working very closely with our federal, state, and local partners to make sure that we have a comprehensive approach, right, that is going to ensure that we maintain not only peace and order, like uh, the mayor said, but that everyone has the right to express themselves and the First Amendment rights. Cause any concern of any type of government. Okay, two, more, two more questions in English and then we're going to go to Spanish. Make no mistake about it, we're taking this, uh, this event extremely serious. We know that there is a potential of things uh, taking a turn for the worst, but that's not the Miami way, right? We have plenty of experience not only working together, uh, we have uh, extremely high confidence uh, of the residents and the folks that live here in the city of Miami. They are used to demonstrating, they are used to exercising the First Amendment rights, and they are incredibly respectful and supportive 
of law enforcement here in South Florida. So even though we're preparing, we're bringing enough resources to handle crowd anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000, we don't expect any issues. I love him because I know he's a good president. He was a good president. Now is my president. Now, tomorrow, and forever. And I defend him. I'm going to see you, my president, again. The Lord is with you, and he sent you here for something. And that something is you are the president. It's a bunch of, I don't want to say it, but you know what? It's just a witch hunt. It's a BS. It's a, you know, they try to, why they do, they're doing it now? It's, it's, it's a trick that they don't want him to win because they're afraid. The Democrats and the liberals, they're afraid, you know?